I love talking about denial of service attacks, Noah. And I don't know what it is about the numbers, but this one record breaking 26 million RPS denial of service attack. This was reported from Cloudflare and they have a lot of clients. So, do you know who Cloudflare is? Yeah, Cloudflare is a huge uh, cloud provider. Uh, yeah. And these guys have a lot of clients and one of their clients was hit with a this record breaking 26 million. To give you uh, per some per some perspective here, this is 26 million requests per second. And that's what a denial of service attack is. Can you kind of explain what a DDoS attack is for the audience? Yeah. So there's a DOS attack, which is a denial of service. And that's where somebody kind of spams you with traffic to flood up your network and prevent your systems from working. And then there's den uh, distributed denial of service, DDoS. Yeah. And that's where a ton of different uh, maybe bots in a botnet or different computers are all doing this at once to one target. And it works so much better because it's harder to block each individual IP that's attacking you. Yeah. And yeah, whoever was the victim of this really must have uh, made a bot master angry with a really <laughs> big botnet. You have angered the bot gods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, check this out, folks. I mean, to give you some perspective, right, a botnet of about 730,000 devices is roughly generating about 1 million requests per second. Now, mm -hmm. this in this case, no, it's 26 million requests per second. And that's like 4,000 times stronger, man. Yeah. The, the volume of that is just mind-blowing. How are they able to do that? Because in a lot of uh, the botnet attacks, they're simply just taking over cameras, rogue cameras, rogue IoT devices. But in this story, we understand that they're now doing something a little bit different. Oh, what are they? What is well, this? Well, I will doing tell you. Thank you for asking. I'd love I'm so to glad know. you asked that question. They are hijacking cloud resources, and oh. that is how they're able to amplify this type Ooh. of attack. It's actually really scary when you think about it. How big these attacks could get? But I think last month, Noah, I heard that Cloudflare had protected a client with about. 15 million requests per second denial of service tag wow. and here we are a month later 26 million uh this is just insanity you can take a look at this chart here about 30 seconds in about 30 seconds the botnet generated about 212 million https requests that's a that's a unique vector normally you don't hear https requests being done it's very very much of a technical denial of service attack what they're saying is 1500 networks were involved in this attack 121 different countries including the u.s brazil russia they were the top source countries so again fascinating stuff folks this is a great trend that you are going to see and hear a lot more about here in the coming year these increased uh, botnet attacks using cloud resources, hijacked cloud resources. So.